Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Jamie Tour from Fjordland Exploration. How are you today? I'm great, Tracy. Thanks very much for having me. And quote, the nickel market has been red hot in 2022 as Russian supply chain risks intensified. So tell me, how has the Russian war in the Ukraine impacted interest in Fjordland? Well, you know, I think this is short term and, and we're really more long term. And the nickel that we're looking at targeting is massive sulfide nickel, high, high value, high grade, one to two percent. And, you know, we'd be happy with with a twelve dollar, ten dollar nickel price going forward. That's really our niche. And these short term fluctuations are, are, are fun to watch, sometimes painful to watch. But we're really looking at a, at a steady demand going forward. And of course, Jamie, you've been in the industry. You're very well respected by a number of prominent members in the critical materials sector. And Fjordland Exploration FEX on the TSXV has a focus on not just nickel, but copper and gold in Canada. So how about you start by giving us a quick you know, elevator pitch on Fjordland and why, out of all the companies that are out there right now, we better get that on our stocks to watch, our market sector to watch. Yeah, I'd say that Number one, we have a, a, a terrific joint venture project in South Boise Bay. It's 80 kilometers south of the Boise Bay nickel discovery that was discovered by Robert Freeland. And he's our joint venture partner in this project. And they have to spend $5 million um, to expand uh, that project to, to earn their interest. So that, that's number one, is a, is a world-class nickel uh, area south, south of Boise Bay. The second is that uh, Quebec, uh, we have a hundred percent interest in uh, the Renzi nickel project. It was an old nickel mine that operated in the late sixties, early seventies, one and a half percent nickel copper combined. There's still a small resource there. And we're looking at expanding that in an area that's never been explored. Okay, so here we go. World-class management, a world-class partner, a location, correct? Correct. Okay. so. Fjordland is new to us. We are going to have, and we're going to extend an invitation for you to speak with Byron King and of course, Jack Lifton, a critical materials corner, but what should we anticipate in the next couple of months, next quarter, Jamie? What, what should we be looking forward to? Well, we're looking at uh, hopefully uh, initiating uh, a drill program in South Boise Bay, get that underway, hopefully in, uh, in the summer. And we're looking at more drill results or drill results and additional drilling at Renzi. We started in March. Uh, we've completed some holes. Those holes are out for assay. Um, and we'll restart uh, in the south portion of the project in the next uh, few weeks, hopefully. So I was just reading an update about you. There's four primary projects. Is that correct? Yeah, there's really three. Two of them are lumped together in, in BC. Uh, they're copper gold just west of the Mount Milligan uh, uh, operating uh, copper gold uh, mine um, in a great porphyry belt, um, really underexplored. Um, so that's that's sort of the third project in, in, in the stable. Um, the, the one that's had obviously millions and millions of dollars spent on it in the past is, is South Boise Bay. And of course, um, the Quebec project, an old nickel mine. So, you know, our thesis is really as they say, op, you know, operate, explore in the shadow of the head frame. We're looking at areas which have a prevalence of operating mines um, uh, and occurrences. Um, and we think that's the best place to explore. Well, Jamie, it's so nice to see you. Congratulations on putting this all together. Fjordland Exploration. For more information, go to this website. And Jamie, we look forward to having you regularly on Investor Intel. Thank uh, you. I, I look forward to it. Thank you, Tracy.